All right, let's do another exam question walkthrough. We're going to go through resistors in series in this video. So we're going to be calculating the total resistance. Okay, so here's an example question that we might be given of resistors in series. And when you see this, uh, three resistors of values 4 ohms, 0 0.25 ohms, and 500 milli ohms are connected in series. Calculate the resistance total. Right, okay. So sometimes you might see resistance total written like this, but that's all it means. So we're just being asked for calculating the total resistance of these resistors connected in series. Okay, so straight away what we've got to be thinking is what's the formula I need for resistors in series? Okay, so let's write that out here. So it's going to be the resistance total is equal to R1, resistor 1, plus resistor 2, plus resistor 3. Dead simple. Let's just circle that off over there so we know we've got that in the bag now. Right, okay. So now what we've got to be focusing on is, firstly, let's say this. Let's just label these. So let's call 4 ohms R1, 0 0.25 ohms R2, and 500 milli ohms R3. Right, okay. So let's circle that so we know that now. Right. What we've got to think about now is, remember... These values have to be in their base value before we can continue with this. So let's say for now, R1, 4 ohms. Ohms is the base value of resistance, so we're fine with that one. R2 is 0 0.25 ohms, so we're okay with that one. So these two are absolutely fine to use in our calculation. What about R3? R3 equals 500 milli ohms. So that's not in the base value yet, is it? So we can't use that one in our calculation. So we're going to have to convert that to its base value. So let's look at it again. So if we remember from previous videos on the PowerPoints, milli is equal to minus 3, which is the same as dividing by 1,000. So let's do it the manual way for this example. Let's just write out our number, 500, put our decimal point in. It's not usually there, but it is there. We don't write it usually. So then all we've got to do now is take our decimal point back three times minus, because it's minus three for milli, and we should be given our answer in ohms. So let's go one, two, three. And our decimal point will be there. So this means now that we're left with 0 0.5 ohms. So what we're saying there is, is that 500 milli ohms is the same as 0 0.5 ohms. Right, okay. Let's just mark this off here so we get this out of the way. And then down here now, let's do our actual calculation because I think we're ready to do it. We've got our values, 4 ohms, 0 0.25 ohms, and 0 0.5 ohms. So all we've got to do is write it out using our formula. So let's do it. Resistance total is equal to R1, which is 4 ohms, plus R2, which is 0 0.25 ohms, plus... R3, which is, well, we just converted it down, didn't we, to 0 0.5 ohms. So 0 0.5 ohms. We add these together, these values, and that's going to give us the resistance total in this circuit, which is 4.75 ohms. So let's quickly recap. We read the question. We realised that we're, we're dealing with resistors in series, and we're being asked for the total resistance in series. So we wrote our formula out that we know. Resistance total is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, fine. So then we went over here and we need to label these as R1, R2 and R3, don't we? So we did uh, 4 ohms is our R1, 0 0.25 ohms is R2 and 500 milli ohms is R3. So we wrote that out over here and we're checking that these are in their base value, aren't we? So 4 ohms, fine, that's ohms. 0 0.25 ohms, that's fine. 500 milli ohms, no, we can't use that in our calculation so we've got to convert it down. So that's what we did. We recognise that we were dealing with milli ohms, which is minus three, same as dividing by a thousand, so you can do it either way. You could have divided 500 by a thousand, and you would have been given the answer of 0 0.5. We chose to do it the manual way, moving the decimal point, which was moving the decimal point minus three, so one, two, three. Then we rewrote our number, and we had 0 0.5 ohms, which is the same as 500 milli ohms. So all we've done is convert it down from milliohms to ohms in order to use in our calculation. So then all we had to do then was input our values into our formula that we put down first. 
So the resistance total in this circuit is equal to 4 ohms plus 0 0.25 ohms plus 0 0.5 ohms, and that's equal to 4.75 ohms. 